good morning everyone today we will see about the nerve supply to the forelimb here okay so nerve supply to the forelimb is by the brachial plexus here okay so brachial plexus it is formed by the uh, ventral branches of the last three cervical and first two thoracic cervical spinal nerves that is c6 c7 c8 and t1 and t2 here okay all the all those spinal nerves come together ventral branches and they form the brachial plexus here okay so the first branch in the brachial plexus is your suprascapular nerve here okay so suprascapular nerve it runs along with the supra scapular artery here and it runs between the supraspinatus muscle and a subscapularis here and it gains on the lateral aspect here lateral aspect here and it mainly supplies the supraspinatus and infraspinatus here okay so damage to this supraspinatus nerve it results in a condition called as a shoulder slip or it is also called as a sweeney here okay so that is the clinical importance of the supraspinatus nerve here okay so after the supraspinatus nerve next one is the subscapular nerve here okay so these are the three heads of the subscapularis here and this is the nerve which is supplying to the subscapularis here okay so as you can see this one is a subscapular nerve and this is the another nerve uh, subscapular nerve which is supplying to the subscapularis here okay so these are the subscapular nerve here okay so third nerve is your axillary nerve here okay so axillary nerve as you can see here so this is the axillary nerve here the landmark for identification of this axillary nerve it is placed between the teres major and a subscapularis and it runs along with the caudal circumflex humeral artery here okay please zoom in here so just so you can see this one is a caudal circumflex humeral artery so this axillary nerve here okay so it runs along with the caudal circumflex humeral artery and it gains on the lateral aspect here okay so it gains on the lateral aspect and it supplies to the deltoideus brachiocephalicus teres minor muscles here so and it is continued as a cranial cutaneous antibrachial nerve here okay so you can see this one is the axillary nerve which is supplying to the deltoideus and it is continued as a cranial cutaneous antibrachial nerve supplying to the skin over the cranial side of the region here okay so just for confirmation just i uh, will pull this a uh, part of the axillary nerve so just so just observe here this is the axillary nerve so just i will pull for confirmation here so you can see the movement in the axillary nerve so this is the branch of the axillary nerve here okay so which is supplying to the deltoid is here so after the axillary nerve so we have the radial nerve here okay so this one is a radial nerve here so this is the thickest nerve in the brachial plexus and you can see it is supplying to the long head of triceps along with the medial head of the triceps so if the nerve is damaged at this level it results in a high radial nerve paralysis here okay so after supplying to the triceps it gains on the lateral aspect here so it passes over the brachialis here okay so this is the brachialis which is placed over the musculo uh, musculo spiral groove on the lateral surface of the radius and it supplies to the brachialis and it uh, continues on the lateral aspect here and it mainly supplies to the all the extensor group of muscles here so the if the nerve is damaged at this level we say it as a low radial nerve paralysis here where the animal is unable to extend the limb here okay so that is the clinical importance of this radial nerve here okay so after the radial nerve just i will pull this the branch of the radial nerve just observe the movement here for confirmation here so so just observe here this is the radial nerve here
so you can see this one is a radial nerve here so this one is a radial nerve here okay so after the radial nerve now we will move to the musculocutaneous nerve here okay So this one is a proximal branch of the musculocutaneous nerve here. So as you can see, so the musculocutaneous along with the median nerve, it uh, forms a loop in which the axillary artery is placed. This we call it as a ansa axillary here. For better view, I am just moving this axillary artery here. So this one is a proximal branch of the musculocutaneous head, okay it mainly supplies the coracobrachialis and finally ends in the biceps brachii head, okay so this is the proximal branch for the distal branch just you have to lift this biceps brachii here and uh, just you can see the distal branch of this musculocutaneous nerve here okay so just below this biceps brachii we have the distal branch of the musculocutaneous and it is continued as a medial cutaneous antibrachial nerve here okay so this is the distal branch of the musculocutaneous nerve here so after the musculocutaneous nerve we have the median nerve here okay so this is the median nerve which runs under the pronator terrace here this is the pronator terrace which is a flexor group of muscles and it mainly supplies to the all the and it mainly supplies to the all the flexor group of muscles here okay so so this is the median nerve which supplies to the all the flexor group of muscles here okay so next branch next nerve is the ulnar nerve here okay so as you can see this is the ulnar nerve here so it runs along with the musculocutaneous and median nerve here so it passes over the olecranon and here olecranon process here chest and it is continued as a caudal cutaneous antibrachial nerve here okay so it is continued as a caudal cutaneous anti it gives a branch as a caudal cutaneous antibrachial nerve supplying to the caudal aspect of the skin here then it uh, runs between the flexor carpi ulnaris and ulnaris lateralis here and there you can see the branch of this ulnar nerve it is continued as a ulnar nerve runs between flexor carpi ulnaris and ulnaris lateralis here okay so this is in ulnar nerve here so you can see this is the thoracodorsal nerve here so which is mainly supplying to the latissimus dorsi here okay so this is the thoracodorsal nerve which is supplying to the latissimus dorsi and this is the thoracodorsal artery here okay so which is supplying to the lattice mesh dorsal which is a first branch of your subscapular artery here okay so this one is the subscapular artery and it is giving a first branch as a thoracodorsal artery here. and this is the axillary lymph node here which is present in the axillary region so next branch of uh, brachial plexus is pectoral here so it mainly supplies to the superficial and deep pectorals here so after that we have a long thoracic nerve here okay long thoracic nerve which mainly supplies to the serratus ventralis thoracis here and last branch of your brachial plexus is the external or a lateral thoracic nerve which mainly supplies to the abdominal cutaneous trunk and muscle group of muscles here okay so thank you